I just met with uh, Specialist Chris Hill's family from North Carolina. Um, you know, I told, uh, told the family how much we appreciated uh, his sacrifice. He, he was killed in Iraq and um, assured him that, uh, that uh, we would stay the course, that uh, a free Iraq was uh, very important for a peace in the world, long-term peace, and that uh, we're being challenged in Iraq because there are people there that hate freedom. And... Um, but the family was pleased to hear that, uh, uh, you know, that we would, that the son would not have died in vain. And that's an important message that I wanted to share with you today. Let me ask a couple of questions. Uh, who's the AP person? I am. You are? We'll ask it. Sir, what, uh, in regard to... Uh, Who are you talking to? Uh, Mr. President, uh, in regard to the June 30th deadline, is there a chance that that would be moved back? No, the intention is to make sure the, the uh, deadline... Uh, remains the same. I believe we can transfer authority uh, by June 30th. We're working toward that date. Uh, we're obviously constantly in touch with uh, uh, Jerry Bremer uh, on the transfer of sovereignty. Uh, the United Nations is over there now. The United Nations representative is there now to work on the uh, on a uh, onto whom we transfer sovereignty. I mean, in other words, it's, it's one thing to decide it's transfer. We got we're now in the process of deciding what the entity will look like. To whom we will transfer sovereignty, but uh, no, the date remains firm. Stretch. Mr. President, are you concerned at all that events like we've seen over the last week in Iraq are going to make it tougher to meet that deadline, or, or increase pressure from the UN or anyone else? Well, I think there's, I think there's a, you know, I, my judgment is, is that the closer we come to the deadline, the more likely these people will challenge our will, uh, or as it provides a convenient excuse to attack. Um, in this particular incident with Sadr, this is one person who's deciding that uh, rather than allow democracy to flourish, she's going to exercise force. And we just can't let it stand. As I understand, the uh, CPA today announced the warrant for his arrest. This is one person, or this is a person and followers who are trying to say, we don't want democracy. As a matter of fact, we'll decide uh, the course of democracy by the use of force. And that is, that is the opposite of democracy. And it's a... Uh, uh, and uh, that's why the CPA uh, issued the statement they issued. But Stress, I think, I think throughout this period there's going to be tests. We were tested in Fallujah. And uh, the, the desire for those who do not want there to be a free and democratic Iraq is to shake our will through acts of violence and terror. It's not only our will, it's the will of other coalition forces, and it's the will of the Iraqi people. Uh, as you know, that uh, many... Uh, Iraqis have been targeted. As a matter of fact, the uh, Al-Qaeda Al affiliate Zarqawi made it clear that part of the strategy was to turn Shia on Sunni by killing innocent Iraqis. And uh, we've got to stay the course, and we will stay the course. It's, uh, it's, the message to the Iraqi citizens is they don't have to fear that America will, will turn and run. And that's an important message for them to hear. If they think that we're not sincere about staying the course, uh, many people will not continue to take a risk toward uh, Take the risk toward freedom and democracy. Yeah, Mayor. Mr. President, yes, ma'am. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your decision making for the next ambassador to, to ambassador to Iraq and uh, what you're looking for in the person who yeah. represents the administration? Good question. Um, I am uh, looking for somebody who can run a big embassy. Somebody who uh, understands the relationship between an embassy and the military. Because one of the things that's going to be very important for the next ambassador to Iraq, this will be the person that takes Jerry Bremer's place, uh, will be uh, the, the willingness and capability of working with a very strong, uh, a, a country in which there's a very strong U.S. military presence, as well as a coalition presence. Uh, this is a person is going to need to have enough experience to basically start an embassy uh, from the ground up and also be willing to transfer certain uh, people and authorities from the CPA to the embassy itself. Now, it's a very complex task. It's going to require a skilled soul, and we're in the process of searching it out now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Can you just tell me, uh, the 9-11 Commission, uh, yeah. the chairman yesterday, uh, Governor Kane, said a date had been set, I think, for your testimony in the vice president's. Yeah, yeah I would call it a meeting. A meeting, I'm sorry. Right, a meeting. Thank you. Uh, has that date been set, and could you share it with us? And number two, can you tell us the rationale 
as to why you have chosen to testify or rather meet with them uh, with the Vice President? Uh, first of all, it'll be a uh, great opportunity for them to ask both of us our opinions on the subject. And uh, we're meeting with the entire commission. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the status is of putting out the date. I told them I meet with them at a time that's convenient for all of us, and hopefully we'll come to that date soon. Uh, I look forward to sharing information with them. I mean, let me just be very clear about this. Had, had we had the information that was necessary to stop an attack, I'd have stopped the attack. <laughs> and I'm convinced any other government would have too. I mean, make no mistake about it. If we'd have known that the enemy was going to fly airplanes into our buildings, we'd have done everything in our power to stop it. And, uh, and what, what is important for them to hear, not only is that, but that when I realized uh, that the stakes had changed, that uh, this country immediately went on war footing, and we went to war uh, in, uh, against al-Qaeda. It took me very little time uh, to make up my mind, uh, once I determined al-Qaeda to do it, to say we're going to go get them. And we have, and we're going to keep it after them until... Uh, until they're brought to justice in America secure. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the conversation. I'm looking forward to Condi testifying. Uh, I made a decision to allow her to do so because I was assured that it would not uh, jeopardize executive privilege. And uh, she'll be great. She's a very smart, capable person who uh, knows exactly what took place and will lay out the facts. And uh, that's what the commission's job is, uh, is, is meant to do, and that's what the American people want to see. And uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to people hearing her. All right, got to go to work. Thanks.